What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle, where we are exploring the eastern front of town, which is the only place we haven't been. So, I'm hoping that we meet up with somebody over here. I'm not really going to shop at the Joja Mart. I'm going to try and side with the townspeople, I've decided. I'm going to go with kind of like the natural win. I think we did the evil playthrough for Fallout 4, where we sided with the bad guys. Well, I mean, they weren't total bad guys. They were just kind of out for their own interest. But you get what I mean. I did a bad playthrough in Wo or, I'm sorry, in World of Warcraft in Fallout. And so I'm thinking I'm going to do a good playthrough in this. And oh, we got another daffodil over here. Daffodil, I hope you will fit the bill to be in my backpack. He's dancing flowers around, having too good of a time. Being all happy and Alice in Wonderland-like. Got a busted CD from in there. I wonder what year it's supposed to be in this game, because we don't have MP3 players or anything like that. And everything seems reasonably primitive, like maybe like the 19... Not like primitive primitive, but you get what I mean, like analog, sort of. Maybe the late 80s or early 90s or something like that. I want to go down to the sewer. I think that's probably what we'll do next, and I'll have a look around. We haven't talked with everybody in town yet. We've still missed two people that I can't seem to find. I haven't seen them around. Haven't seen them around, but we'll keep an eye out. It's not something that I'm actively working on. It's just kind of like I keep an eye out while I'm walking around town. And hopefully we get there when we get there. This episode might be a little bit weird because it's the end of my recording day. It might end up being a little bit short because you can't save in the middle of the day as far as I know. I think you can only save at the beginning of each day. And so I may cut it off a little bit early. I hope you'll forgive me. It's just for organizational purposes. I'm not really... I promise. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cheat you out of content or anything like that. It's just... We might stop at an inopportune time, is all that I'm saying. Let's go to sleep for the night and get this thing rocking. Might be a little bit shorter this time around. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. We have got ourselves a harvest. Hell yeah. All right, so let's get in here. What happened with this little guy down here? Were these planted at separate times? We got a potato out of there. Got ourselves some of them potatoes up out to earth. Potatoes is good for the earth. Potatoes is good for the fry skillet. I liked Sling Blade. Sling Blade was a good-ass movie. I liked Sling Blade. I enjoyed it tremendously. We got some more daffodils in here. That's looking great. We got some fibers. Dandelions. Let me combine my storage, actually, real fast with my finalized products over here. I need you. You. And then we'll drag these on into the chest on this side. I know I haven't done a whole lot of building in my house, but we don't have a lot of recipes, like, ready yet. I think we got to level up a little bit more before they bequeath upon us, like, the full mighty power of drops. I don't think I need these anymore. I'm starting to think that these might be kind of useless. I don't know. I'm a pack rat. It's what I do in video games. A pack rat. Got a leak right there. We're going to need the leak in order to do... We can actually access this from over... Where did I see that? From right here. We can actually do the gifts to the Junimo from, like, anywhere. So, I'll keep an eye out. We got all of this stuff. We're just missing a wild horseradish, which I'm guessing is going to be the tease out of the group. I'm thinking that's the one that's going to be ducking us. What I wanted to do is, once the field was all nice and cleared out, I wanted to make a whole bunch of fertilizer so that we could fertilize the whole damn thing and make it a little bit more comfortable over here. Those fish out of there, too. Probably bring the acorn with me inside as well. Inventory management! The episode with Splattercat. Probably could have sorted this out on my own time. Probably could have, but that's just the sort of slipshod, terrible YouTuber that I am. Keep all my cash products in there. We're going to go in on. We have basic fertilizer. That is on the good stuff right there. Do I need it for anything else? We also need wild horseradish for wild seeds, actually. The wild seeds might be our access point for getting the horseradish out that we want. Cobblestone path would be fun, too. I'd like to build a path in front of our house to make things a little bit nicer. The wood path seems like it would have a bit more of a time investment for me. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to convert the whole thing over, and then we'll fertilize what we can fertilize right now. So it says that after things have been tilled... Okay, so it's got to be added before you plant. I hope it doesn't wash away. Basically, all fertilizer does for anybody that's younger or doesn't know, fertilizer adds nitrates and other, like, random things that plants need in order to grow. It adds things to the soil that might not be there. And so I used to live in a place called Santa Rosa. In Santa Rosa, we had this thing called the Sonoma Aroma because it was a farming community. And so in Santa Rosa... That looks like a tater, and that looks like something else. We got to do our watering for right now, though. Let me do my watering. And so when I lived there, they had a thing called the Sonoma Roma. They still have it to this day. Sometimes when I go out there, it's super stinky. 
It's when all the farmers are fertilizing the fields out there. That's all that it is, 100%. And the entire just like county just smells so bad. And some people have said that it's like a cow manure smell, but it really isn't. It's kind of like a busted sewage line smell. It smells pretty gnarly if you've never smelled it before. You get used to it after a while and you just stop opening the windows during certain seasons. But it's necessary. It's part of the local economy, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That is the smell of the things you eat being grown. Oh, got a harvest done down here. Good. Where did I put my fertilizer? Did I use it all? I don't think I used it all. I put it in here, maybe? There it is. Fertilizer, come with me, please. You are part of my harvest, so you shall also come with me because we're going to the store and we're going to earn ourselves some cash. All right, then. I think I planted potatoes right here, which means the potatoes should be up and ready to go the next day or so. I'm going to let the field be fallow for a little bit. And then once it's all cleared out, I'm going to organize a tad and just kind of see what we can do with it. I may plant like an entire parsnip field over there, just like nonstop parsnip. And then we'll make a separate field over on the side that'll be for potatoes and so on and so forth. And I think that'd be a nice way for us to orchestrate our work. Is it Wednesday? Okay, it's Tuesday. Good. That is Maru, if I remember correctly. Have you met my mother? She's the town's carpenter. I think I did. Yeah. Local wizard in search of a fresh bream. Yeah, I got you. I got a bream in my inventory right now. What day is it? It's the 10th tomorrow's Vincent's birthday. It's gotta come up with something fun to give to Vincent so that we can increase our reputation with the townsfolk. It's Figgle Farmer! It is indeed Figgle Farmer. Oh, you right clicked to sell one, so that's how I screwed up in the past. I'll probably, that's my cash crop right there, so I'll probably, ooh, the potatoes are worth a bit. You're getting a 30 profit out of them. Let's go all in on those parsnips real fast because we do have planting to do. I'll probably do it tomorrow, though, while I'm on the subject. Who's this green-haired lady over here? Do I know her? She might be one of the ones that done ducked us. No, that's Caroline. Should I wear something special to the aerobics meetup today? I don't know. Are you trying to, like, impress somebody? Get somebody's attention? Make the booty pop so that you get the attention you want? I don't know. Maybe. I make the booty pop all the time. I try. Like, before I go out in the morning, I'm like, objectives, make the booty pop check this is oh there's an old man over here okay so let's talk to him huh looks like another gloomy day oh well, we've officially met the old man i think did that increase my oh we got two days to deliver the bream oh we're only missing one person now we got one person left on our list and it looks like actually the football player lives with his grandparents here raised by your grandmama and your granddaddy that's a hood story right there or the story of really anybody that has had something unfortunate befall their parents, or B, their parents just don't... Is there anything to read or check out in here? A traditional tea setting. The mayor must be pretty serious about tea. It's a ledger full of Pelican Town data. You can't really understand it. What's in his fridge? It's the mayor's fridge. It's mostly full of milk and iced tea. You know, I'm weird about tea. I'm not a big fan of tea as a drink. Like, I know some people are big tea drinkers, and I think it's cultural a lot of the time, but I am just not that guy. I do not enjoy tea. I don't like sun tea. It's too, I don't know. I don't like the flavor, and I still don't like the flavor, even after even after you put, like, anything else in it. It's just not something that I enjoy. Have I met her yet? Ah, there it is. Jazz. Okay. So it's his birthday tomorrow. What's this over here, though? There's a book missing here. There's also a book missing right there. Have I met this guy, though? I don't think I ever came in here. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. You better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? How about you do that? Well, gutter has got to hang out here and shish people. The great cause of the librarian. That which they all aspire to. So it looks like there's hidden books around. And when you pick them up, it puts them somewhere. How to win friends. Give someone a gift. We got... Did we not? Oh, it actually, okay, so it converted the quest over. So we got to give somebody a gift. And my assumption would be that I'll read it for you. How to win friends. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes, and you will be popular in no time. Well, popularity. Popular. I'll make you be popular. And with a few tips from me to be who you'll be, instead of dreary who you were, are. There's nothing that can stop you from becoming popular. I love musicals. I don't know if you picked up on that by now. 
but musicals are a big deal to me. So what goes on over here? Like, do you explain what you do? So we can upgrade tools if we got copper bars, we got copper hose, we got copper watering cans. Okay, stuff in here. Things to be looked at. Does he actually... And in his shop, oh, he sells the ore. I didn't want that. Oh, shit. Well, now we know we have a copper, so I guess that's that. What's done is done. There's a letter over on the table over here. There's a stack of metalworking blueprints. And so maybe I take... This off to this side. Does it go in the processing bin, maybe? It's out of order, so maybe that becomes useful later on. Maybe that becomes useful later on. Not for right now. I know there are things along the way in the game that's going to unlock. I think we should work on that bridge out there. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in somebody's life. Man, I lived off of tutors when I was in college. I was getting fu I was getting tutored all the time. Like, I had trouble. I, I didn't take naturally to it. Some people, they study well, they do well in college, and it just comes naturally to them. Me, I didn't have to study until college. Like, I breezed through high school, and I thought that I was special or something. And then I got to college, and I realized that, like, other people were miles ahead of me. The wizard wanted a bream, and so let's take the bream to the wizard to offset the cost of the accidental things that I just bought. I'll also use that time to deposit some of this stuff inside of our house. I'm still looking for that horseradish, and that'll give us a great opportunity to walk through the outback and see if maybe there's a wild horseradish around that we can claim for our- Oh, there's a woodpecker right there. That is a thoroughly obnoxious animal. I, I wish them no harm. I've told this story before on the channel, but I'll give it to you. My dad had an ongoing war with this woodpecker that was tapping on the side of the house, and he had a BB gun, and he'd take a shot at it every now and again because it was knocking holes in the side of the house, and he couldn't get rid of it. And he went after, he tried traps, he tried everything to get rid of that woodpecker, both lethal and non-lethal. And the woodpecker, that's a damn smart animal right there. I don't know if you have woodpeckers where you live, but they're pretty smart. Woodpeckers know when the jig is up and they smell something on the breeze and they're very, very difficult to get a hold of. Especially once they realize that you're trying to catch them, they see you and they're off like a shot. That's a rough animal to catch. And so my dad, he went after that woodpecker for probably the better part of a year. And he finally got it one day. Like, it was like this war between man and nature, and he finally got the woodpecker. He got it with the BB gun and killed it. And it was sitting in the garage when I got home, and he had just left it sitting there, kind of like on his workbench or whatever. And my dad does taxidermy, so I, it was just, it's not uncommon to come home to my house and have, like, a dead animal, like, sitting on his workbench, because that's one of his hobbies, is he does taxidermy. And so that's just the way it's been since I was a kid. And so anyways, I asked him about it. And he got like this real far away sad look on his face and he goes, yeah, I got him. I got him. And I got the distinct feeling my dad didn't feel good about getting him. Like this woodpecker had been like this ongoing joke and battle between him and all of his friends for like the last year. Where he just couldn't catch the little bastard, you know. He tried everything and he finally got him and he killed him. But I always got the feeling that it was kind of like one of those unstoppable force meets an immovable object type things. Where it was like this great challenge for him that he woke up every day trying to get this bird and it gave him like some I don't know some weird little piece of purpose and when he got that bird he just didn't seem ha I forgot to get the bream son of a bitch I'll take it to him tomorrow uh, I walked all the way over here in search of horseradish and talking about the woodpecker that my dad done slain and so yeah got a far away look on his face he still does whenever you bring up that woodpecker I think I think he there was a camaraderie there in their struggle with each other that woodpecker gave him a run for his money and he respected him for it. Looks like there's a bunch of trash and some TP down there. But it looks like the bridge is maybe out. Huh. Interesting enough. There's also an old house over here. What is this? Can we enter it? It looks abandoned. I don't think we can get up in there. I wonder if as seasons go by, new people move in. Like, you get new people that move into the area, and, like, you've got to learn to deal with them, and they've all got different motives and needs and jobs and stuff like that. Might be kind of cool. I'm interested to see how this develops. Like I said, the game is a very, very slow-paced game. Like, it's a game that you're meant to play and, like, relax to. It's not a go-go-go-go-go type of game. So if you're looking for the old running gun or, like, trying to, you know, get your adrenaline pumping, this is not the title for you. But, oh, look at that. A spring onion. Is somebody planting out here? These grow wild during the spring. Oh, well, that actually makes sense, considering it's called a spring onion. I don't know if it was particularly bouncy or something like that. 
Or if it grew really fast so it like springs out of the soil the second you plant it. You can never tell why people name things. It's locked. You can never tell why people name things the way that they do. So that appears to be me standing knee deep in human refuse. I'm gonna stay away from that as an option for today. That just seems like the kind of thing that... Ew. I wonder if the wizard closes his door or if he's up like all night and all day because he is magical after all. And what need of a magical being or what need does a magical being have with sleep? Ye foolish mortals spending your time clonked out in a state of unconsciousness. A waste of time, I say. Fie, and a pox upon it. That looks like there's a little signboard right there next to their silo, but I don't know what it's... I thought maybe I'd be able to look at it and figure out what it was for, but I guess not. I might knock out some of these stones in here so that I have, like, a travel path. Make my job a tiny bit easier while we go through here. I don't know, it's not that far from our house, but it's far enough to be a pain. I'll give him the bream tomorrow, and that was my fault for screwing up. I should have paid attention better. It's basically the end of the day. So I've got a lot of energy left. Let's spend some time gathering resources. And using up some of that extra energy that I've got. I think it's a really, really good idea. I don't want to waste any of our time because it seems like the sort of game where eventually it's going to become a race for like what do you have time to accomplish versus what do you not have time to accomplish. And that being said, I'd like to stick to my grind for right now. The spring onions in there. I guess I'll keep those out here. It seems like a more logical place to keep them. Smallmouth bass, you come with me and then that should be good enough so that I can chop some trees for a little bit and knock out this meter. I'm going to stump a little bit too. Because I don't let little bits of wooden tree treat me like that. You don't stump me by leaving remains of your body all over my field. You don't run me like that. You do not run me like that. This guy looks like he's coming up. I'm going to chop him down because I don't want saplings over here. But what I may try to do is I may try to plant trees like along the sides of each pasture. That'll make it look nice and pretty, I think. You gotta, you gotta plan for this kind of stuff. If you want it to look nice and you want your fields to be popping and you want to be the envy of all of the other guys in the neighborhood. You gotta make sure you organize this stuff properly. We could also use a bunch more wood. I know we've been out for a while, and so focusing on that seems like a smart idea, too. Perfecto. Absolutely perfecto. Knock you down one more time. Looks like we got a bunch of pine cones out of this guy, and I think we needed pine cones in order to properly craft, I think, the energy bar, maybe? Got some acorns. We got some more wood. We're up to 115, a little bit more sap. Let me transfer this stuff indoors, although we're out of energy right now. We could pull a late night doing this, but I don't know if that would be a wise plan. Well, let's let's see what we can pull off here. So we'll drink the Joja Cola. We got a bunch of that stuff, so we'll eat that too. And that might give us enough energy to fill out like one more area. Just eating algae. Ugh. Doesn't that seem nasty to you though? Just a mm, big old mouthful of algae. The joys of rural living. I think we got enough left in us for one more tree. We might get better at log chopping, too, if we're really, really lucky. I love that kind of Skyrim Elder Scrolls usage system. I always like it when games have skills that level up as you use them more and more and more because it just seems more realistic to me than just, like, hitting levels or whatever in thresholds. It brings me joy in decent quantities. Knock out a couple more stones. It's getting kind of late. At midnight, it'll give us a warning, and it'll be like, Yo, dog, you should probably go to bed. But I ignore those warnings, for I am the night owl of night owls. I'll probably finish that off right there, and in the morning, you can bet that we're more than likely going to have a big potato harvest, I think. Dig that out real fast, and then it's off to bed. As I said previously, this is my last recording of the day, and unfortunately, it only saves when I go to bed. And so anything I do from here out, I'm just going to have to repeat anyway, so I, I beg your forgiveness. But I am going to go ahead and stop the episode here. It's a little bit of a short one. I'm sorry for that, but it's organizational. Thank you for stopping on by at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. It's been a lot of fun. Hi to everybody.